Today's video, we're going to talk about how to stay off Google's review process radar, whether you are or aren't doing something actually bad with your ads, so that your ads don't all go down and then you have to fight like hell to get your ads back up again when you're already in, making a good deal of money with your ads because you spent the time, set them up right, like I talk about on this channel, and then all of a sudden you're too successful and then you get slapped down temporarily for a day, a week, sometimes a month, which I've seen many of our clients happen to them, which is why I'm making a video here to explain how you can actually completely prevent this from happening to you when it often very it will happen to you at some particular stage more than likely. Here's have your ad stay approved because you understand how the system Google has that actually plagues your account for a review and puts a filter on it, slows you down essentially, it makes you verify who you are, what you are, what you, you know, you're doing something legitimate, what you have, what you say you're doing is accurate, it's true, all of the above there, and not get caught up in the dragnet, so to say, because nowadays, Google's system, as is all these other ad review platforms, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you're running your ads, they all have AI systems to sniff out the bad players. And what they've basically done, which really pisses me off, as well as obviously most other people, is Google system is set up like this now. Google says, we want quarterly profits to go up. How are we gonna do that? Well, obviously, we get, you know, we've maxed out Google search ads. Let's start cutting costs. They started doing that two, three years ago. Okay, how do we cut costs? Easiest way to cut costs, cut employees. How do we cut employees? We get AI systems to, to do what the employees used to do. With that said, in terms of the review department on Go at Google, they realize that they can't cut the review department without all the bad players thriving, so to say. It's kind of like cutting the security on your website. You're asking to get your ass handed to you at some point or another, cutting it too much. So what do they do? They actually use AI systems to police the different players. But they know AI isn't as good as human reviewers because the AI systems can be easily fooled. So what do they do to remedy that? Well, very simply, they come up with the rules that they had, or should I say they had the rules. They use AI to scan for violations of those rules, whereas humans prior did that themselves. And because AI systems aren't very good, they program the AI to be more aggressive than they think they need it to be up front so that they could slap you down. And then what you got to do as an advertiser then is beg for them to reconsider, then they have a human re-review your account, and then they'll decide if you actually violated that rule or not. So really what they're trying to do with the AI systems is not even determine if you're doing something, but are you doing something that looks like something that a bad player does so that your ads are gonna get shut down, and if you really are doing something bad, you'll just give up. And if you're not doing something bad, you'll raise your hand and bitch and complain saying you didn't do anything, and they only got to pay a human reviewer to come in at that last minute and say, yes, you really didn't do anything, so to say. Got it? So that's the big changes with Google that they've made over the years. So with that said, okay, it's very easy to get your ads disapproved nowadays because they've cut the review staff down to bare bones and they're trying to use review uh, AI systems, machine learning systems, okay, and, and so therefore you're going to get, it's not a matter of if you're going to get whacked, but when. That is if you understand that what seems to be the main triggers that actually triggers you to get a review. And when I say get a review, they're going to say it's uh, clickbait or, you know, unsubstantiated claims, which is a, that's a better example here. And really, they don't even know that. Are they going to know what you're saying on your website, your landing page is unsubstantiated. An algorithm can't determine that. It's not that smart. So again, they're going to do something that looks like somebody who does do that does that you now match up with. And it's kind of like profiling. Okay. You're profiled. And uh, so with that said, if what you want to do is you want to not be look like the people that normally are bad players and be profiled itself. How do you do that? Well, that's what I'm going to talk about Next, I got this chart here to show you how you can scale an ad account without getting profiled and get your ads knocked down in the process. Getting your ads knocked down, by the way, is a bigger issue than what you think, because you may think, oh, who gives a crap, Corey? This, I'm shutting this video down because if it, gets, if it goes down, I'll ask for forgiveness from Google and I'll get back on. 
usually it takes you more than a couple days to get your ads back on and during that time you're going to have zero revenue coming in from your Google Ads. Keeping in mind you probably scaled up your staff to handle all the sales that you're now getting and now you're running at a negative $10,000 a day because every day your ads are off and you're, and you're going to be sweating balls during that time. Not to mention Google support staff, that is the humans that come in later and determine if you really violated the rule or not, are slow as hell, particularly unless you have millions of dollars of ad spend to get reasonable customer service. And so that whole time you're just really stressed out and it usually takes more than a few days because of how slow they are and so forth. And uh, on top of that, the worst part is you get your ads turned back on and the longer your ads have been shut off, the more time it's going to take for the ads to get kicked on and back to the performance. Or they'll get kicked on right away, but the performance won't be the same. If you get your ads shut off for a week, it'll take three weeks until your sales are the way that they were before the shut off. Because the algorithm puts you in the back of the line, so to say. It goes back in the learning mode in terms of how your ads should be ran and when and how and what spots. And so you're really going to have you know, a week of no revenue and then another week of only 25% of revenue and then another week of only 75% of revenue and then you're back to where you were. So it's a major, major issue when your ad gets shut off and they clip you to see if you're not doing something that you shouldn't be doing. And respectively, here's the key thing. The, pe the, the people, they're able to get their ads to work really, really well and really, really quick because they're doing unfair tactics. They're offering stuff that you know, like lifetime warranty when they shouldn't be offering one and it's impossible to offer one or, you know, they're offering ridiculous, you know, like a free offer. I, it's, I'm not going to get into like all the details, but they're doing stuff that they're lying about what they're marketing, right? So that allows them to sell much quicker than a legit seller who doesn't lie in their ad copy and in the landing page copy. So Google knowing this, due to the machine learning algorithms, algorithms and so forth, and seeing all the people in your space have, that have sold something similar in the past, how quickly they were able to ramp up an ad account, because it takes years to build up a nice, healthy bit of results with your ads, compounding your results 10, 10 to 20% a month, which that's the reality. A lot of people think if they just get the right ad, they're rich instantly, and it rarely is that case, is the case it's like that. They see you getting too rich too quick, then they're on to you. It's kind of like the IRS or what or the government. If they catch you, you know, too much too quick, then you're on their radar. So just by being too successful, whether you are doing sketchy stuff or you just understand marketing very, very well, way more than your competitors have and do, you are going to get treated the same by Google. Okay. So what normally happens is when you start out your Google account, you're gonna have your campaign launch, you're not gonna have any trust with Google, or very low trust. So they're gonna be ultra harsh in reviewing your ads, your landing pages. But if you get approved, then things get easier. The next kind of stage is where you get to campaign profitability, where you can start to scale your ads, and you'll have some medium trust with Google, from Google at that point in time, and probably won't have any problems. Then, campaign maturity, a couple years in, you have a lot of trust with Google because the longer you've advertised with Google, the less they think that you're just a, like a hit it and quit it type of operator because there's a lot of guys they are setting up an ad knowing they're going to get shut down. They're hoping to get a month or two or three months of advertising spent out at, until they get shut down. And if you've been, and, and that's like I said, in terms of patterns, that's very different than you, the two year guy who's been doing it and doing it one step at a time, building it up 10% a month and so forth. So if you get to that point, you are probably home free in terms of getting knocked down temporarily, having to get the human reviewer to review your stuff, see that you're not actually doing anything negative, and get back online and take your hit. Where you get your hit usually, whether you're doing something wrong or not, is where you have a campaign explosion. You find that perfect ad copy, the perfect before and after photos with the testimonials, whatever, and... Uh, you double your ad spend in six months or less, or you double your conversions in six months or less, or you add your revenue data to your account showing you have a 10 to one or return or greater, and Google uses that as an indication of how well you're doing. Any one of these three things I just mentioned, it was a red flag to Google, and they're gonna disapprove you for something just so they could check you out more, okay? Again, because the, bit, the bad players are just trying to get in and out.
That said, even if you've been in it for two years and then all of a sudden one of these things happen, they're going to check you, want to check you out again. Why? Because there's some people that'll build up an account for two years, farm it, farm it out, and then all of a sudden they blast it. Their negative offer, whatever, and then that's part of their system. They just have accounts on deck, aged accounts, and then they they nail, they, you know, they go, they, they slam them with, with a fraud offer for three months and then it, they burn it up and then... They do it to the next one that's been now aged for two years. So just know if any one of those three things happen, you're probably going to get your account reviewed but for some unsubstantiated claims or whatever. And so the key thing here is if you don't want to go through this with Google, then just grow your sales slower. Whether you can grow faster or not, you grow them slower. I mean, naturally, if you could just skyrocket your sales 10x in the next week, you would do it. And then you would just go through the review filter and get back online and take the short term hit on your results that I said you were gonna ultimately get, just because once you do get reapproved, your ads are gonna be on fire. However, I mean, you'll, you'll just have to do the cost benefit analysis yourself and whether or not it's worth it to just, you know, you're, you know you're gonna look suspicious to Google and you're gonna go ahead and go through the review process anyway. But once you get approved, now you're back under medium trust with Google again, okay? And ultimately, if you keep, if your sales are doubling every six months, may not get, approved again for some erroneous things, disapproved for some erroneous things and go through the thing again, um, you may also. But more than anything, this is about anomalies. If you were, if there was six months in time where you had the same ad spend or you spent 20% more than you did when you start out, started out, and then all of a sudden you doubled your ad spend in three weeks, that's the time that's going to look suspicious to Google and you're probably going to get some disapprovals for some weird stuff and they're going to check you out, okay? The more that it's the size of change of activity and ad spend or conversions that is what causes this to happen in the first place. On Facebook, by the way, it's more just about spend brackets. So on Facebook, it seems, and I've talked about this on my, uh, other videos before, where it seems like when you're on Facebook and you're just starting out, it's an AI system that reviews it. And then if you get up to like 100 a day in ad spend, then you get an Indian that reviews it. Then if you get it up to a thousand a day in ad spend, you get a American that reviews it and then an outsourced partner. And then if it gets up to 10,000 a day, you got an internal Facebook employee at the Facebook campus reviewing it. Why? Because it's, there's bigger risk for them at each respective stage to their brand. If they, the reason why they're so strict on people is they don't want people distrusting all ads because at that point they've shot themselves in the foot. So on Facebook, whereas it's just mainly about spend, I don't doubt that they don't have some algorithm that says if you are too successful too quick, they're going to kick you out, kick your ads out to, for review like that. But for the most part, it's not. Uh, Bing slash Microsoft, however, the system's very similar to as Google has. You start getting real successful real quick, you have an issue. The revenue data one, I didn't talk much about that, but funny enough, I've heard people talk, back in the day, I heard people talking about how they don't like to add their revenue data to Google because it tells Google how much to charge them for the clicks. Like if they say they're making a thousand bucks and the return is t uh, 20x, they're going to start charging you more per click. So your return goes down to 10x and so Google can make more money. I don't necessarily think that's the case at all just from what I've seen. I haven't done like a really large meta analysis to really know for sure, for sure. What they do do though is when you start adding your revenue data, they use it as a part of their algorithm to see if you're doing something sketchy or likely to be doing something sketchy. Because if you're making abnormal returns that are much higher than your competitions, now you're probably doing something that has, you know, that's unfair. Uh, you're, you're, you're saying something that isn't a lie that gives you an unfair, unfair competition, unfair advantage on your competition, and therefore they should start checking you out. So that is the deal with that one. So bottom line, if you don't want any issues with Google at any point where your ads are going to get shut down, then keep growing your ads 10, 20% in terms of ad spend and sales and profit every month. And you shouldn't have an issue. The longer you advertise, the more strength you're going to have in terms of your relationship with Google and the less likely you're going to have ever a problem. That said, you could get three, four five months in and then all of a sudden double your ad spend. And you're along with it to reconfirm to Google that you're probably doing something sketchy. The sales go up double along with it, which is very hard for the average legitimate advertiser to do. Then you're going to get caught up in the dragnet again. So anyway, I know this kind of seems like irrelevant to you today, but if you're serious about running your Google as account, your Google ads, 
there's going to be a point where this could come into issue. And if you take, if you understand it in advance, you're not going to have to have that huge crisis situation with your business when the ads go dark. You can't run your ads. Your Google ads is where 80% of your sales are coming from, and now you're totally screwed. And for that matter, I tell people all the time at our advertising firm, we're not trying to double your sales in three months here. We're trying to, that is if we're not just starting out from day one. We're trying to give you a 10, 20% increase in profitability a month. Why? Because that's normally all we're able to get process of building up a multi-million dollar a year ad account for your business. It is a process. It just takes lots of time of advertising, looking at what you did, trim the fat, double up on some stuff that really worked, and then wait a month doing it again, and then next month doing it again, next month doing it again. And doing that again and again and again and again and again, long term, you get the big result. It's not just find an ad and then just instantly blow up the account. The only way that that works is if you have something that's high in demand and very low competition, and you just are the only one that can offer it. Then you can get results overnight. If you're in a competitive market where you're not substantially better than everybody else by far and it's obvious, you're gonna to have to go through the trenches of doing it. And nobody likes hearing that. They wanna be able to run an, a, a website and make money in three to six months and do it very well already. And it's if it were that easy, everybody would do it. You do that, what I told you though, 10, 20% a month, five years from now, you're making you know 500 grand a year in a niche business, just building it up one step at a time like that. So 10, 20% doesn't sound like much, much until you compound that 50 times over. So with that said, I'll wrap it up with that though. Uh, questions, leave me a comment below about anything that you have about account review, how to avoid these issues, or any other question you have about PPC, I'd be happy to answer it. If you leave me a question in the comment section, I get back to every single person who leaves me a question or comment in the, in the comment section within 24 hours, typically. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you absolutely should already, as the information in this channel is coming from somebody who spends 40 hours a week doing ad testing and strategy for a number that is dozens of different ad accounts at once to give you the working information about what works and what doesn't work with online advertising in today's environment, which is unique because 99% of the information you find elsewhere on YouTube and whatnot is not oh, in the PPC world, is not coming from people running ads. They're just talking about it. I know because I'm in the, in the world myself. I just know what people are doing. So it's not valid information as a result. Therefore, if you're gonna pay attention to anything, you wanna pay attention to this information on this channel. You can also find my blog, by the way, at guaranteeppc.com slash blog. My blog has step-by-step -step advice on how to implement and roll out specific strategies that are go-tos at our advertising firm in your ad account that can get you results basically every time. If you like the channel, you, should, you, you certainly are gonna like the blog as well. Most people do, so you should check that out as well. If you're looking for somebody to help you execute these strategies for your account, we run an advertising agency here. That is our bread and butter. That's what we do the channel for, is to educate and then you know, find our clients uh, just for, for full transparency. That said, we're the only agency out there that offers a guarantee offer. That is, we do not charge you any management fees until we can lift your profitability of your ads a certain minimum amount up front, whether 25, 50, 100%, to offset the cost of the fee that we charge. And we offer that to all new clients. We don't offer it to just anybody because we got to know we can get great results with your stuff up front to offer it to you and agree to work together. We don't take on just any client, but if you want to see if we can work together, reach out to me at guaranteedppc.com. I'd be happy to have a conversation with you about it and see what the opportunity might be. So, and then with that, if you're not looking to work with an ad agency, we also sell ad templates. We've worked in over a hundred niche markets in the last 10 years running this PPC firm of which if we've already done an ad campaign in your niche space and we already got results, you would do yourself a huge favor just buying the ads, the landing pages, the campaign templates outright from us, copy paste those into your ad account and get the same results we're getting without none of the work, time and effort it took for us to figure out what works the best in your niche market over years. So, and we could tell you the results you're gonna get with it up front before you ever purchased it from us. So at the very least, you should reach out to us and see what kind of results we, we've got in your market already and see what you might stand to gain from it. We've got people using these templates to start whole other businesses, whether they're getting into selling and generating leads, generating and selling leads, or getting into e-commerce, they don't know anything about it. The hardest part about e-commerce is figuring out how to do the PPC, starting out with a winning template to sell an item that you can easily get from China that our client's never gonna operate in country A and you wanna sell it there, you can do that. It's a turnkey business. If you're interested in any of those other opportunities, you can also reach out to me at guaranteedppc.com. With that said, I'll wrap everything up with that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.